Hi Taurus, hope you guys are all really well. So welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2022. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus. And because it's general, it means it's not going to resonate for all of you. And it also means that the roles can be reversed even if you are cross-watching for someone else. So this is actually my second attempt at doing your reading. I had to stop the first time around because my cat Mannix was just all over the place. And usually, you know, like I allow him because I know he he eventually stops and moves on, but he was like not stopping. So I'm getting that Taurus needs some extra affection. Currently, he was also being very, very affectionate. <laughs> and I just felt like, you know, he was sending all of that affection energy to to you guys watching um but yeah i just i had to stop it like it was too much it would have it would have annoyed you guys no matter how much you love cats it was at that point where it, <laughs> you would have gotten so frustrated um because he kept messing up the cards all right so taurus 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 if you would like a personal reading all that information is in the description box and yeah, let's see what is going on with you. We will be doing this a little bit differently this time. I want to focus more on your energy. So you can always check out your person's sign if you want to see more about them. Although we will also be looking at their energy in this reading as well. So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs <clears throat> for October 2022. Let's see. And we'll see how we're going to make them fit because now I have his feet here, which... Don't make me do this again, Mannix. Please don't make me do this over. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's going over. Okay, good. All right, so for the situation, we have the Three of Swords crossed by the Emperor. Ooh, okay, somebody's been feeling a lot of pain. There's been some heartbreak here. Um, <clears throat> and it's feeling a little challenging to like get yourself back up. And I mean, obviously I do get that this is you because like I said, I, I want this reading to focus more on you, but of course the roles can be reversed. Um, let's see the recent past. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, it's like you were moving in a particular direction. Things seemed to be going well. It felt like there was a plan in the recent past, um, but I feel like right now there's a little bit of a heartbreak happening or just feeling some pain. Um, let's see your for your consciousness. We have the Ten of Cups. Subconscious, the Nine of Wands. Your energy currently, we have the Chariot. Okay, so Cancer energy. Um, your person's energy here towards you, we have the High Priestess coming up, the Knight of Cups, and a message for you from Spirit, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, so Taurus. You're wanting love. Plain and simple, Ten of Cups, this is what is on your mind. You you just want love, you just want happiness, you don't want to be in pain anymore, but in your subconscious we have this Nine of Wands, which it's like deep down to you, it's like you have like this deep belief that that's just a, something very difficult to attain. It's feeling very, very challenging. I feel like you feel very hurt in some way um, by a particular situation here and it, it's it I'm almost even getting that this is actually serving as a bit of a, an obstacle for you to getting to that ten of cups to getting to that love so we'll see more when we clarify um I do see things working out though okay that's the thing I do see you getting there especially with that knight of cups um in your current energy we have the chariot so here's the thing Tori's like even though you might be feeling like this is very challenging and there might be times where you feel like giving up. You're actually moving. You're actually moving forward very quickly. You just might not be so aware of it. But things are things are happening here for the best. There is a person here that I feel um, has been quiet. Okay, with this high priestess, somebody who is not um, in communication with you. So we'll see more again when we clarify. But coming up in the near future, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is either you approaching someone making that decision or someone approaching you in an affectionate type of way. Um, with the Three of Wands here as the message from Spirit, I'm going to wait and clarify that to see exactly what, <clears throat> what it wants to say. I do have my suspicions, but I want to clarify it first. It does have to do with the future, though. 
It does have to do with the future and waiting for the future <laughs> to happen to you. So let's clarify. Let's see that Three of Swords with the Emperor, please. All right, and we have the star, so Aquarius energy, the page of swords, and the nine of wands showing up again. Yeah, so there, see, here's the thing. You're healing. Whether you realize it or not, you're healing, and you are moving forward. Not only that, you have a lot of divine support here. Um, you're... I'm, I'm even getting that for some of you, there's communication that you are hoping for um, with a particular person, either for you to make that move or for them to make that move or for this communication to just happen. And because you feel like that is just something very, very difficult, like it just creates some discouragement for you. And because of that, you're feeling like it's a little bit hard to come out of this painful energy because it just all feels so hard. So you either don't know what to say to this person or um, you want this person to talk to you and it doesn't feel like that's happening or anything along those lines. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles. Which is for the recent past. And we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so yeah, lots of pentacles here, which is in your element. So there was a point recently where you were feeling pretty grounded, like you felt like you either had a plan or that things weren't on track. You felt independent. You felt either detached from whatever it is that's, that's creating you this pain or you felt like, you know, just things were moving, like you were getting things organized. So I don't know what it is... Um, that is still creating this pain for you now because it feels like, yeah, things were definitely on track. I actually mostly feel like what's blocking you here is just your own sense of how difficult this is. And yeah, I'm not saying it's not difficult, whatever it is that you're trying to do here or get to, um, but you, you can do it. I mean, you're already on that path. You are already on that path to love, basically. All right, it's showing up here. Um, let's see that Ten of Cups. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles again, and the Six of Wands. This is like a very strong message from Spirit here because I feel like it's the same message repeating itself. You are on your way to that Ten of Cups. You are moving towards love, happiness, fulfillment. There's just still some pain that you are working through. That's all. And a lot, again, a lot of this pain, I feel like it's actually being caused by your own, I don't know if you're having doubts, um, but, but just by your own sense of, yeah, wow, this is so, this is so hard. And again, it is, but that's okay. You know, whatever it is that you are doing here, it wasn't meant to be easy. It was not meant to be easy, but you're still, you're still doing it. You're moving in that direction. Yeah, you know, it might not feel like it's coming that fast, although we do have the chariot in your energy. Um, you are moving in that direction, though, okay? And I do see success attached to that. So let's see this Nine of Wands, which to me, this is like your blockage. This is what is making everything more difficult for you. Let's see, what is this about? The Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Okay, yeah, see, because this is in your subconscious, and this is why I'm saying, like, I, I, I'm just getting that. It feels like in the 3D, like in your material world, everything is, like, lining up. Everything is lining up to help you move forward in that direction of getting you to that Ten of Cups. Now, where I see the problem or, you know, just what is challenging here, it's, at, it's in your own subconscious, right? So... Having like three negative cards here together, it, it, we have two negative energy cards clarifying this nine of wands, right? So the five of cups is all about seeing in this context that I'm getting here. I feel like you're seeing things in a, from a pessimistic perspective, like you're focusing on something that is negative. So maybe focusing, for example, on 
something from the past that has caused you pain or maybe if this pain is in, is in the um, present focusing on that you know that can actually just focusing on what what you have to lose or focusing on what you have lost rather than noticing you know what you have to gain and how things could be and that's what i'm getting also with the message from spirit here with this three of wands like you're being asked to really focus on yeah but what could the future be like coming up what are the positive possibilities here because those possibilities, they're very, very real and they're very, very attainable. That is the message here for you. So it's like you're you're just stressing yourself out by thinking about all the di potential difficulties coming up rather than also the potential positives. Let's see the chariot for your current energy. Again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed, even if you are a Taurus cross-watching for someone else. Uh, sorry, if you are a Taurus, you know, this could even be your person's energy. Let's see the chariot. The four of swords and the three of pentacles. So you're, you're healing actually very, very quickly. You're moving forward <clears throat> very quickly. And it might feel a little bit um, like you don't really know where you're going or, you know, just that uncertainty. Like this, I, I'm getting that this might feel new to you. Even the healing of this pain, whatever it is, even that can feel uncomfortable just because it feels new. So don't, don't allow that to like hinder you in any way like that's just completely completely natural okay because I, I mean you're really putting in this effort you're really being productive here i just feel like you're not even really acknowledging that in your own self so give yourself some credit here taurus let's see the high priestess for your person here or a person The Queen of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so there is somebody here who is desiring you a lot, actually. They're just keeping quiet about it. Um, I, I feel like this person might actually feel a little bit like defensive in the sense that they're feeling like they just need to protect themselves. So it could be that this person is either like intimidated by you or just wouldn't even know how to approach you because I do see them kind of blocking you out. And this is why, you know, they're, this is somebody who I feel is quiet for the most part, but they're feeling you very, very strongly in their energy. And they are actually desiring you quite a bit here. So let's see that Knight of Cups, which is coming up, because either somebody is coming in or you're, you're moving towards somebody here. If you want to, right? It's just, this is showing <clears throat> the potential here. So for the Knight of Cups, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Mm, okay, so I, I actually feel like this is you um, actually, it could even be a person. It, it really depends on the situation. Whoever it is that is wanting to move towards the other person, I do kind of see that happening, but it also feels like they're holding back. So, and if this is you, again, it's like you're holding back because you're thinking of the worst case scenario. If this is, if it's the other person, they're thinking of the worst case scenario here too. And it's like kind of rigidly holding on to that. I mostly feel like it's you because this is kind of reminding me of your pattern here that I've been seeing. Um, so I do feel like for most of you, this will be you. But again, could be your person. So yeah, you know, that's definitely there. It really is your choice to make. Um... You can't go wrong with being honest. The worst thing that can happen is, yeah, somebody telling you no or saying, you know, I don't feel the same or I don't want that or, you know, whatever. So what? You know, instead of thinking of the worst case scenario, think of what could actually happen in, from a positive perspective. 
because you can't know for a fact that it's going to be negative. And if it is, if it is, you know, that's, it's okay. You wouldn't have known unless you tried. So, but again, take this as it resonates. It could be applying to, to another person and not you. It's not clear. So let me see the three of wands. And we have the queen of swords and the chariot again. <laughs> yeah, it's really up to you to make this decision, like for how long you want to wait. How long do you want to wait for something um, before either taking action or how long do you want to wait for something to come in before, you know, you take action, whether that is towards them or even just away from it. You know, whatever it is that you feel is true for you. But I mean, the main message that I'm getting here is, you know, keep moving, right? In your current energy, we have the chariot. It's showing up again um, together with the queen of swords. You know, this is the message for you. Keep moving in the way that you have. Okay, because you are moving towards that Ten of Cups, whether you realize it or not. Okay, you are healing. You are moving past this pain, whatever that is for you. You can be this emperor, right? It's totally there in your energy. You just have to allow it to come through. And be careful of how you think about the future, right? Um, make sure that you're thinking clearly because it's easy to just focus on the negatives, and Spirit is saying here, that no, like, you can't just think about the negative possibilities here. There are also so many positive, positive possibilities about your future. So as soon as you start thinking about those positive possibilities and potentials, I feel like that's going to just move you even more quickly towards that Ten of Cups. So, Taurus. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have chop wood. Again, keep doing what you're doing. Do, do that work. I mean, keep putting in that effort because it, it's, it's moving you in the right direction. Pretty simple, very clear. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.